Hey guys, back with another video. Now, if you're looking for a small powerhouse of a camera, one that will grow with you through all your photography needs, I have the perfect recommendations for such a camera. And that's what we're going to be looking at in this video. So if you're considering stepping into the world of mirrorless cameras, then this will be a great video for you to watch because I have a great recommendation for such a camera. Now I can personally recommend this camera because I've been using it for the past eight months and it has blown me away at how good this camera is in terms of image quality and the video quality that it produces in such a small package. So it may be a small camera, it may be an APS-C camera, but it's a camera that packs a punch and capable of producing pretty much everything you would need in photography. So this really is aimed towards the people who are starting out in photography or who are looking to get into mirrorless cameras, guys. I can highly recommend this camera, like I say, because I've bought it and I've been using it Otherwise, I wouldn't be recommending it at all. And I have honestly, honestly been blown away by the absolute quality that this camera produces. Now, the camera we're talking about is the Nikon Z50. A small, lightweight, APS-C, 20 megapixel camera from Nikon. Um, it's absolutely amazing. This tiny, tiny little scrappy do of the Nikon mirrorless cameras absolutely packs a punch in today's market it offers pretty much everything perfect image quality just absolutely sublime image quality when you're shooting stills the sensor in this camera comes from the d500 now i've used that d500 i've owned that d500 and that also produced amazing image quality the d500 was touted as nikon's pro lineup of dx camera bodies and it truly was an amazing camera with super fast acquisition and amazing amazing image quality and this camera has the same sensor in it it's got 209 points of autofocus across the sensor which allows you to obviously pick that auto off the focus point right across that sensor being able to use eye autofocus face detect on both humans and animals it just makes for such an easy easy process of taking photographs it really does now one of the fun features of this camera one of the easy features of this camera that makes this camera so fun to use is this little switch here which allows you to switch between obviously stills and video at this flick of a button it allows you to just to continue shooting and then if you want to quickly cap capture some video just flick that button and you're shooting video straight away it is absolutely fantastic i cannot rate this camera enough honestly i cannot it's absolutely brilliant the avf absolutely stunning the touch screen at the back is brilliant if you're somebody who likes to vlog this will obviously tilt all the way down i kind of do because i've got a me peak design um plate on the bottom there but will flip all the way down so you can use it as a vlogging camera also which is absolutely perfect a lot of people like to do that now or as a second camera to your main camera now i shoot with a z6 but i've got this for the main camera and it, it complements the z6 perfectly well the colors everything out of this just oh, look absolutely stunning it really does now this can see you through a lot of years this will cover pretty much everything if you're starting out in photography it really will i've recently posted a video where i shot a quick portrait session of me so i'll pop a link to a card you can go and check that out and i was using the kit lens which comes with the camera you can buy them separately or get them as a package the 16 to 55 pancake kit, uh, kit lens or the 50 to 250 zoom lens and I use those lenses in that portrait session with me son and it just proves the quality that you can actually get out of this camera. So if you're interested in seeing that video, I'll pop a card to a video up there and you can go and check that out. So if you're looking to get into video as well as stills, this camera does it all. It shoots 4K and you get a full sensor readout. So it's covering the full uh, full width of the sensor inside of the camera. So you're getting 4K at 30 and 24 frames a second and it's absolutely stunning. Now, if you're somebody who likes to shoot in slow motion, this will shoot 1080p at 120 frames a second. And it's absolutely stunning. It gives you the option to record 120 frames just in camera without sound, but you can always have the option of just recording 120 frames a second with sound and slowing it down in post. So giving you the ability to produce it in camera and giving you the, also the ability to get that little bit of extra quality and detail out of the footage by slowing it down in post. So a fantastic opportunity to be able to shoot both stills and video and it does it so well. Now the body does not have IBIS in uh, image stabilization but the lenses come with image stabilization and they are really good. I must admit I've used the kit lenses for 
a lot uh, out of my shoots. This camera goes everywhere with me. When I'm out riding, when I'm out walking about, this is the camera that I will pick up because it's small, lightweight, and I can pop it in the bag. And I'm just always blown away by the image quality that you get out of this camera with being such a small package. It really is phenomenal. So like I said, if you are somebody who is trying to get into photography, who's looking to get into photography, or somebody looking to step from a DSLR and wants to go the mirrorless route, I can highly, highly recommend this camera for your first out and in the mirrorless camera market. Now obviously this camera, as with the Z6, comes with a Z mount. So not only are you able to use the DX lenses that are coming down the line for this camera, you're also allowed, allows you to use the full frame lenses on this crop sensor body too. And that just opens the door for a massive array of lenses. But not only in the Z mount lenses, if you have the FTZ adapter, you can adapt pretty much any lens to this camera. All the old Nikon F mount lenses and any other lens, pretty much you can adapt to this camera. So it just opens the world up to a brand new opportunity and using completely different lenses across the range, which gives you lots of options. Now, I cannot highly recommend enough the kit lenses that come with this camera. They just blow me away in terms of image quality. So there's so much you can actually do with these lenses. Like I say, check that video and see what kind of image you can produce using just the kit lenses it will really take you far and help you build a great strong portfolio just using those kit lenses and then you can progress to the faster primes and um, which again will just step that level up even more it really is a fantastic system to get into so let's run through the specs of the little Nikon Z50. We'll start with the sensor. Like I say, this sensor is from the D500. It's a 20 megapixel sensor. It has 209 autofocus points across the sensor. So it allows you to cover the full area of the sensor and allows you to just compose that shot nice and easy. You can use all of the Z lenses on this camera as well as using all of the older F mount lenses from Nikon via the FTZ adapter. Again, being able to use the eye and face tracking in the camera both in video and stills face tracking just in video eye autofocus and animal autofocus in stills just allows for a really easy and fun process now the iso range of this camera goes from 100 to 51,000, and that's pretty awesome i've shot some really high iso images at 12,800, some port rates and the quality is fantastic it just adds something to the green i always said with the d500 that the green that it produced inside there was probably the best noise digital noise i've seen in a camera to date so it really does produce fantastic images at high iso now this little camera packs a punch if you're somebody who likes to shoot fast action 11 frames a second you will get out of this little camera that's 11 frames a second that's super fast and that's giving you autofocus as well and auto exposure whilst shooting at those high frame rates so that's pretty phenomenal in such a small package so this is a touch screen on the back of the camera which allows you to obviously scroll through zoom in and out of your images and makes the process of navigating the easy to navigate menus from Nikon very easy so you have the mic input also so you can have attach uh, a mic external microphone and you also have the uh, usb ports at the side uh, and the hdmi out you've got the standard dial modes on the top from obviously manual aperture shutter speed uh, and p mode and then through to all your scene modes and then user one and user two and the effects mode as well which i don't really use any of them i tend to stay in manual mode all the time but if you like that kind of thing this camera has that option also. So like I say, this has to be the most fun camera I've ever used to date. I've used a lot of great cameras in the past, folks. And one that kind of I found fun because obviously just because of that switch, to be fair, was the Canon 200D, which obviously I no longer had. I had that a long time ago. Again, that was just a small, lightweight DSLR that I carried around with us because of the size of it. But this has just absolutely blown me away with the image quality and the video quality that it produces. It really will take your production or your journey in photography right up there and it will carry you as far as you want it to go. I think it's safe to say that you will not outgrow this camera for a long time. Some cameras that you get are limited, limited with either how many autofocus points they've got, what type of autofocus points they've got, what type of video capability it has built into it, how many frames per second you can shoot. But this camera is just all rounded and for anybody stepping into just the world of photography, let alone stepping up from DSLR cameras, this would make the perfect addition to anybody's uh, bag. It really is that good of a camera and I cannot highly recommend it enough. Obviously this channel is not sponsored by Nikon, it probably never will be sponsored by Nikon, 
but I just want to put that out there folks I've never had so much fun with a camera I've shot with lots of cameras and like I say I'm shooting with the Nikon Z6 soon to be shooting with the Z6 II but I just absolutely love this camera it goes everywhere with me honestly it just blows my mind how good the technology we have today at this size and at this price point I think you can pick these bodies up for around about £800 if you look on the second hand market I think you can get them for around about £600 which is just ridiculous for what you're actually getting out of a small camera it's mind blown folks it really is mind blown so I just wanted to put this video together because I know there's a lot of people out there who are looking to step into the world of photography and the world of mirrorless photography and I wanted to put a recommendation together that I can personally recommend, something that I've used, that I've tested out, that I've put through its paces, shooting obviously portraits, shooting animals, shooting landscapes, shooting all sorts of stuff, videos, everything, and it just never falters, it's never let us down now. So like I said, I just wanted to put this together guys to give you a solid recommendation for a great camera, and that is the Nikon Z50. I cannot highly recommend this camera enough, and I can guarantee you will have so much fun shooting with this camera, both in video and stills. It's mind blowing what this camera can achieve, it really is. So there you go, that's it for this video, folks. I hope it's uh, been useful for anybody looking to step into this world of mirrorless photography. I really do. Um, and it's my personal favourite camera of 2020. It's safe to say I love the Z6. Everything about the Z6, the full frame equivalent to the Z50, I love that camera. But for the most fun and enjoyable, most portable, has to be the Z50. That's my favourite. It's just a solid, solid little camera. I absolutely love it. I've never had so much fun with a camera than I have with this little camera right here. So there you go, folks. That is it for this video. I'm going to let you go now before I continue to keep rambling on more about this camera because I just absolutely love it. I really do. So that's the Nikon Z50, folks. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this and more videos shooting with the z50 which i will be producing consider subscribing to the channel and flicking the notification bell so you can see when those videos are posted and i'll see you guys in the next one see you then